वहीं असम में बढ़ रही जेहादी गतिविधियों पर हमारे चीफ ऑफ ब्यूरो अरिंदम दास ने पुलिस महानिदेशक भास्कर ज्योति महान से खास बात की इस दौरान उन्होंने कई अहम बातें कही पुलिस महानिदेशक महंत ने कहा कि हाल में गिरफ्तार जेहादियों से पूछताछ में कई अहम जानकारियां हाथ लगी है असम पुलिस इनसे निपटने के लिए खास रणनीति के तहत काम कर रही है डी भास्कर ज्योति महंत ने कहा कि ये कट्टरपंथी असम को पहले बेस बनाना चाहते हैं इसके बाद ये युवाओं का ब्रेन वाश कर देश विरोधी गतिविधियों में उनका uh investigation was going on and once we collected enough evidence we have gone and caught this chap called abdus suvan and after that some time we got another chap called jalal and they turned out to be the main players like you know they are the ones who had initially got those bangladeshi guys both safikul as well as safikul we have arrested and somebody who has given us a slip called mahbubur he is gone and they are the ones who had got them Uh, this is uh, now further investigation is on we've got another chap uh, and, uh, and another fellow is given a slip but then we are still after him he is also from bangladesh it is the same modus operandi they come here uh, they obtain some kind of an indian uh, identity card either in bengal or anywhere else and then they uh, introduce themselves to be indian and they marry a local girl Uh, after some association with some of these local chaps and then they become some kind of a molana or mm, uh, a preacher uh, in some local masjid and madrasas and uh, and that's how they uh, kind of spread the uh, uh, ideology of hatred uh, so uh, we are at it very actively we are not uh, commanding some police will not allow these kind of elements to rule the roost and will destroy them well we have seen that the latest arrest includes imams and the madrasas have come under the scanner so how is the assam police uh, dealing with this episode i have had a couple of meetings with uh, uh, also the tanzim council uh, which runs the bulk of the kwami madrasas uh, and and i found them pretty cooperative i'm happy to say that they are pretty cooperative I've also got some kind of a rough survey conducted in the sense, like you know, how are the kids uh, looking at uh, uh, the life itself, their way of looking at lives, and I found that most of them, while they love cricket, while they love football, and they know Messi, they know Sachin Tendulkar, but then if you ask them what are you going to be in future when you become big, they say Hafiz. So these are the characters, uh, the boys and girls who are going to be. not having kind of any meaningful employment in any case a hafiz doesn't get much of a salary i found that the maximum 6000 rupees they get uh, that too after getting zakat etc so hafiz we need good policemen we need good administrators we need good footballers players sports persons etc so some of these madrasas have produced uh, good uh, citizens as well but then bulk of the uh, children studying out there want to become Uh, a theologist uh, so we are uh, talking to them we are engaging them in conversation if we could look at this a little more closely and find out if they could be their mindset could be changed and some kind of secular education could be introduced in this kwami madrasa as well so can we say that assam police is planning for an anti indoctrination or anti radicalization module to counter this the radicalization and counter radicalization uh, efforts are on and uh, we'll go ahead with this uh, without we'll try not to alienate the community and of course we are trying to enlist the cooperation of the muslim community in doing that so what is the big plan is it a short term plan they are making or it is a long run plan they are making obviously it's a long term plan they are creating a base and once the base is created radicalization is complete they would get the guys getting the killers is uh, or creating killers is not going to be a big job actually it's easier uh, for the isi 
backed modules like JMB, etc. Uh, it's easier for police or enforcing agencies to get them. But it's very difficult for ideologically indoctrinated lot to get them and change their mindset and get them on your side is very difficult. So Al-Qaeda is such an outfit which goes into the minds of the people that try to kind of create uh, jihadis, uh, 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 create an atmosphere of hatred. And that's, they are a tougher lot. So we are dealing with a tougher lot right now. So what are their plans? Are they planning to target here in Assam or Northeast, or they are planning to send these trained youths when they are radicalized to other parts of the country or elsewhere? Uh, at this moment, it is radicalization, big time radicalization. Uh, you know, trying to uh, indoctrinate as many youngsters as possible, and that's what they are doing. And obviously, it's not for nothing. I mean, I mean, uh, their long-term plan would be rather bad.